They're settling into their new home, guys. This is great. I am very, very pleased. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. What's up, my boy high squad? How you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. All right, guys. So this is the birds' first evening, and guys, it is raining. It was torrential downpour. They're all standing underneath their banana leaves, as you can see here. I could hear them like chirping and screeching. I don't know if that's happy screeching or like scared screeching. Don't worry, it's just a little bit of rain. As you saw in the last vlog, I've situated some banana leaves over their cages so they can have shade. See? Don't worry guys, it's just rain. It's good for you. I wanna stay out here with my children, my bird children. <laughs> Welcome to another vlog, guys. You guys will be okay out here, right? Overnight? <laughs> You'll be okay. I'll miss you guys. I'll see you in the morning anyways. Listen, can you hear them laughing? <laughs> yes. They're talking to me, guys. Don't worry, I know this is very new. I know it's scary and new, but you know what? This will all become normal to you guys soon, and you will love this aviary, promise. You two birds, all of Mabuhai squad is rooting for you guys. You keep each other company, okay? You'll enjoy a night here. Yes, good birds. I love these banana leaves, guys. It's awesome. And you still have a little bit of dry mix, just a little. And I'll be back for breakfast, okay? I'll be back to give you guys breakfast. Will you birds be okay? I know you'll be okay. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, I'm just right here. This rain will eventually stop. So the beauty of this rain, guys, is it completely washes away all their poo and stuff. So it's kind of great, actually. I'll, I'll have to see in the morning how much like mess they make at the bottom. But I'm really liking this new setup. I think I might have to add more banana leaves at the top though. But look at this, guys. They sometimes go out into the rain. They like it. Feels good, right? Guys, I'm honestly like a parent that can't leave their kid and drop them off at college. I'm back to check up on them. The storm has passed. It's nighttime. And it's about one hour from when they usually go to bed. On. Oh, hi. You guys calling me? Hi. Yes. Oh, you, oh, the banana leaves worked. You guys are dry. You guys have to spend the night here, okay? I know it's different. You'll be okay, I know it. How about you guys? Oh, finishing the last dry mix. That's good. I see Rojo is a little wet, drying off. And Scarlet is drinking the drops of water from the bars. How interesting. They also have a water bowl there too, but it looks like they prefer to drink from the drops. I really miss you guys. Yeah, I will. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the morning. The bedroom is empty without you guys. You guys going to bed now? Um, I find some of the parrots, the, the conures, and these parrots as well, often huddle like in the corner of the cage. And this is how they sleep, guys. They don't really sleep on like on the perch. A lot of times I see them up against, like clinging against the cage wall like this. I wonder if this is what they do in the wild, guys. Like they cling on to like, I don't know, cliff sides or trunk, tree trunks. It's interesting. All right, so can I get the dry mix now? Ooh, it really is dry. It didn't get wet. Good stuff. Thank goodness for banana leaves, right? Okay, I'm gonna close this. Watch your little toes. And as for you guys, let's see. Oh, you still have a little bit. You guys still have quite, quite a lot. Should I leave this overnight? I don't think you guys will eat this now. You didn't eat that much. All right. Good night, guys. Sleep tight. Good night. Bye, Rojo. Sleep tight, okay? See ya. Bye. For real now. 
Sleep tight. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, look. Look at the dining room. Oh, it's so magical. I honestly can't wait for like Christmas dinner, right? And RJ's like Christmas tablescape. I'm sure it's going to be really cute. But look at the table that we chose here. Wait, you guys got to see it up close. So it's a glass table. Still got to remove the cellophane here. Um, but the bottom looks like this cool wavy, almost like a plant, like a banana leaf, right? It's a little dusty, sorry. But like when you see the natural color, it's this beautiful, like alternating, see that? Succession of like beautiful browns and like tans. Oh, it just looks so good. The workers are still working, so it's kind of dusty, but if you step back, it's such a beautiful, beautiful dinner table. RJ fell in love when he saw it. When we saw it in the store, there was only a W. Um, so it was like half, and then we asked them if they could do a 14-seater, and they said they could. So this was what the end result looked like, and oh my gosh, it is so, so beautiful. It does need to be moved a little to the right so that it matches with the rotating panels um, and the lighting piece above. What do you guys think? Beautiful, right? Man. I cannot wait to have some, you know, dinners here with friends and family. That would really be something special. Time to shut off the lights. I hear, I hear the crimson belly conures. There you go. Oop, turned on the wrong lights. Oops. There we go. Guys, so sad. I can hear the conures doing the contact call, which is basically the sound they make when they're lost or there's a missing, like, um, flock member. <laughs> oh, my heart is breaking. No, they need to do this. I need to stop being so OA. I cannot be overacting. This is tough love. They need this. I can hear them still. But, not gonna lie, I'm gonna miss them, yes. But it's also a relief to know that the birds are in a more suitable environment. Good morning, Mabuhay Squad. How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I know I did. Up early because I'm gonna make the birds breakfast. Yes! And see how they were able to survive the night. It rained a little bit through the night, but I think for the most part, it was a peaceful night um, here in the Philippines. I'm going to make them a delicious breakfast. I'm sure they're gonna be happy to see me. I'm gonna put lots of healthy stuff in there. All right, guys, got everything. Let's see how they are. It's a beautiful morning here in Cavite. The hills are alive with the sound of music. Guys, that aviary. <gasps> Oh, it looks like they are awake. Parrots are interesting in that once it's dark, they go to they go to bed. When it's day, they wake up. They're photo um, reactive. Guys, I got breakfast. Are you guys gonna eat? I gave you guys extra because I know you guys didn't eat that much yesterday. How are ya? Did you survive the night? It looks like it. How about you guys? I got breakfast. Yes. Oh. Ooh. Yes. Feast. Feast, my dragons. Feast. Mmm. See? Mmm. I know you guys want some. Yes. You guys must be starving. Here. Got food. Breakfast. Here you go. Breakfast. Go. Go, go, go. Eat. Peace. Success, guys. They are definitely hungry. Go eat. They'll, they'll be eating in a sec. Of course, the conures, so adaptive, these conures. Like, it's as if, like, they were shocked at first, but that lasted a good 15 minutes, and then they were back to their normal routine. I'm happy that the conures are so well adapted. So it's about 7.30 a.m., and it's about to get really bright in here for the morning, which is great. Now, we're going to buy a legit hose soon. Currently don't have it yet. Um, but today we're gonna go get the hose. 
Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to use this cool product called Poop Off. It's a bird poop remover and it's a bird safe. Natural. Removes droppings from all types of avian diets. It's non-toxic and biodegradable. This is cool. This was actually sent to us from our good friends at the Paws on 5th which is this awesome pet store and supply shop that supplies stuff for birds, for hamsters, rabbits and stuff. Go check them out if you're in the Philippines and you have those kinds of animals. And I'm hearing great things about this product. So I'm going to like spray, look at how much mess they make guys. Plus they were playing with their toys. So see all that paper? I guess I just spray. And then it's supposed to like really dissolve bird poo. Okay. That's cool. And then after this, I will really just send it down the drain with the hose later today. This is actually also a mix of like, see the brown stuff? That's pellets. <laughs> Birds make a lot of mess, guys. Mmm, and it smells really good. Ooh, these parrots make a lot of poo. That's so healthy, that poo. Sorry, guys. I hope you guys aren't eating. All right. And that's it. Let that dissolve. And see, this is good because then like the poo doesn't kind of harden and like fuse and become one with the stone floor, you know what I mean? So guys, this tree here has been a little bit controversial. So according to my parrot safe list that I've been following, it says that this plant, also known as a rubber tree or rubber plant, is non-toxic to birds. So that's why I chose it. However, some of you guys are saying that it is toxic and I looked it up and some sites are actually indeed saying that this is mildly toxic, not lethal to animals, but it can cause like, I don't know, swelling of the mouth if they eat it. So it, there's a lot of conflicting information about this rubber tree, whether it's parrot safe or not. So I don't know guys. If that's the case, we might have to relocate it like out of the aviary somewhere, maybe in the yard or on the roof deck. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous tree and it adds a nice pop of yellow to the aviary. It's really sad if we have to relocate this, um, but I'll think about it. We'll see. It would kind of open the space up a little more. I guess if we did have to relocate it, but oh man, and that's gonna be hard to relocate guys. This is heavy, but yeah, what do you guys think? Like a lot of sites are saying it's safe. Success, yay. Enjoy breakfast, my dragons feast. Feast on your healthy breakfast. They're adapting guys, slowly but surely. All right guys, so as you can see, birds are doing okay. I think once they're completely 100% comfortable um, and I know that they, have deemed these cages home sweet home, it's their comfort zone, it's their safety bubble, then I think I can start to let them out. Um, and how I'll do that is I'll just open the door and allow the birds to wander outside as they please and then see if they fly. I guess that's the plan. Not sure when that'll be. I'll just kind of feel things out. We are not in a rush, right guys? As much as we would love to see them flying around in this avian kingdom, I'm gonna take my time. There is no due date to this, right? Slowly but surely, I think, is the best method uh, for success, for, you know, having these birds have access to this aviary. It also gives me more time to kind of like tweak the design because I still want to add a few like driftwood pieces that they could perch kind of lower. And oh man, I don't know about this rubber tree, guys. I might try it, but... I mean, it's good to know that it's not lethal, if ever it is mildly toxic. Still lots to do here. I also, guys, would love to grow orchids. Do you think I could grow orchids in here? The birds can actually eat orchid flowers. It's healthy for them. It's got a ton of nutrients. And I believe there are many places we could attach orchids. Now, for those of you who don't know, orchids are epiphytes. So they could like attach to walls and tree trunks, all of that. Do you like, imagine if we like stuck some orchids up there? For sure the birds would destroy them. <laughs> Um, or not, we'll see. Or they could go up there, see those? There, we could attach them there. We can attach them to the walls there. Hmm, I wonder. Guys, it's almost 11 a.m. Oh, and the sun is out. Wow, awesome. How are you guys doing? Hmm? Oh, you guys look much better and much happier now. 
Yes, and a lot drier too. <laughs> How about you guys? Hmm? Are you enjoying? Oh, you guys ate a lot. Let's see, let's see. Oh, good. Awesome. Oh, guys, the birds look so good. Exposed to all of the sun. I'm sure they're a lot happier out here. Oh, <laughs> hey, this one's chewing on the banana. I mean, it's, it's okay, it's safe. Like those banana leaves? <laughs> awesome. Look at them, they're playing now. Guys, it really does look like they're enjoying. I mean, now that the sun's out, I have actually never seen the birds hanging from the ceiling. This one is now going to eat more. Oh, guys, I think they're settling into their new home, guys. This is great. Hi there. This is the yellow-backed female. I've never seen you hang upside down before. Are you liking it out here? Oh, you look so good in the sun. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is great. I am very, very pleased. Guys, honestly, just been sitting here watching them for the past 10 minutes, and I don't think I've ever seen them so active in their cage. <laughs> sun really makes a difference. I knew it. Somehow it like is a, a mood regulator in parrots. Um, and if you guys live in apartments where you, like where I used to live, where you don't have, really have a balcony where sunlight comes streaming in, then I suggest not to get birds because there's something about sunlight that really brings out the personalities of the birds and the overall vitality. Birds are actually like reptiles that way. They're just, I feel like I'm looking at completely different animals. I don't know if you guys notice it, but I do, because I mean, these are my birds. But there's just something different, guys. Right, guys? There's something different. Oh. See, and they're making new sounds that I've never heard before. Yeah. And this is just the first day. In terms of the conures, I think I wanna, uh, guys, I'm just gonna bring you guys out a little more. Just. So some of the sunlight, I know it's only 11. I want you guys to get an angle of sun too. There, I think that's okay. I think the sun will eventually cross over here and hit you guys too. Now it's important that the birds do have a shade. So I'm gonna constantly keep putting banana leaves there for them. And it gives them something to chew on as well. And guys, I said it before and I'll say it again. The climate here in the aviary is so awesome. It's like, a nice warm it's not even warm it's like how do i explain it it's not even hot rather it's like a lightly warm room that's what it feels like with like natural sun streaming in it's really really nice and the plants add just this ambiance and like a very comfortable snug humidity that i really like i really think we should put like small outdoor furniture out here for us to like hang out um some of you guys suggested like a rock or maybe like a tree stump as like a little stool to sit on. I highly agree. It needs to be natural looking, I think. Um, but there are uh, furniture designers who create really beautiful and cute outdoor furniture. Could also possibly get that. However, the thing I have to keep in mind is any furniture that goes out here is subject to the bird's beaks. <laughs> They'll destroy it if they can. Guys, I can't wait for you guys to fly around. Guys, look at this bird. It's standing up, it's sleeping. <laughs> it's taking a nap, a midday nap. It is so funny. Oops, oops. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay now birds, now don't go destroying all of that banana leaf. <laughs> you need that for your shade and to keep your food dry.
Okay. Target training. Good girl. Good girl, Scarlet. Guys, I'm using walnut. They love it. Good girl, Scarlet. Oh, don't take it from each other. Here. Good girl, Ruby. Okay. Good girl. Or is it a girl? Yeah, good girl. You too. Good boy. <laughs> You're welcome. Good girl. This one here is eating the chop, which is okay, because there's lots of good stuff in there. Um, this oldest female is the most reluctant to train. Oh, she's done training, she's done eating, okay. So for those of you who are new to target training, this is one of the best ways to bond with your bird. Because one, yeah, hey, that wasn't very nice. One, it makes you the alpha because you have all the treats. Um, but also, it's a great way to interact with the bird um, in a hands-off manner. Um, and once you can get them to target train, they'll always try to go to the stick. And then you can get them to, say, go from the cage and maybe tap here. And then, ideally, the bird would fly there to, or wherever you are going to tap this stick. You can have birds crawl through hoops. It's a great training tool, but I'm trying to make sure that these birds are very well target trained because when they're in the aviary, let's say I need them to come down from all the way up there, um, I can coax them to come down and maybe go into their cage or wherever using just this target stick. See, and look at the the conures have mastered this. They know this. Good girl. Ruby right here. But ideally you should do it with one bird at a time. <laughs> See, look, the birds are like waiting. They want me, they want to target train. They see this. They know that when I bring the target stick out, it means treats, an easy way to get treats. I also keep their target sticks separate, even though they're no longer in like quarantine mode. I just like to keep them separate. No exchange of germs, if ever. See the crimson belly conure and blue naped parrot stick. It's just a chopstick. Good girl, Ruby. Good girl, Scarlet. Do you want to try, Rojo? Want to try? Want to try? Oh, come on, Rojo, go. Good boy, Rojo. But now how to give you the walnut without your flock members trying to steal it. Ah, it's hard. Guys, should I just let them out? I'm so tempted. No, I should wait. I should wait. Patience is of the essence. So it's now midday, and I love how the light just moves in that direction. It's gonna move there. Wonderful. So good. And weather's been awesome. It rained a little bit for like 10 minutes, and then it stopped. Thank goodness. I love when it's sunny here. And again, guys, the climate here is just awesome. It's not hot, not cold, it's just perfect. I could like stay here all day. Okay, a little bit more. Good bird. Good bird. I really hope one day this one at the back trusts me. She was actually a target training before. See, she knows to touch it. Good bird, but how to give you your walnut without you flying away here this is your walnut this is your walnut what if i tried giving it to her through the cage here you go no this is for you no no nope. she's making a run for it she's still really shy this one the oldest one and you just stole that walnut piece you <laughs> i'm almost certain that if i were to let them out today like if i were to use target training to get them to step up to my finger i'm pretty sure we could do it Look at Rojo, he really loves carrot. Good. I'm so glad the birds have a good appetite. I'm not too worried about the conures. They've adapted. It's these birds. It will take them time, I think. But I think they're settling in quite nice too. 
afternoon now, and it is time for the afternoon dry mix. Yes, it's time. Oh, they're still eating breakfast. Yes. Oh, you guys were thorough. You guys ate it all. Wow. Good birds. You were hungry. All right. Enjoy. Mmm. Yes. Yummy. Feast, my dragons. Feast. How about you guys? Were you still working on that? Oh, there was a lot. You guys ate so little. All right. But this now is spoiled. Maybe I just won't feed as much. For some reason, they're not eating as much. But let's see. See if they enjoy this dry mix. Go, go, go. Feast, my dragons. Feast. Look at them. <laughs> yeah. So it does look like it will be raining soon. But that's okay. They have their shelter. And the shelter will keep the food dry as well as the birds. All right. Enjoy. Guys, it's Ate June. I'm back. <laughs> She's back from GMB Landscaping Services. We're gonna add some more hanging plants. We're adding more hanging plants, as if we can't add any more. Wow, yeah, guys. Here, just here. At the top here, uh, we'll be hanging. Ah, uh, the bur moss. Oh yes, I think it's Spanish moss. They call it yeah, in the US. Boston. Oh, guys, yeah. look. Is that called Boston uh, fern? Yeah, this is Boston fern. Boston fern. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Wow. OMG guys, look at how much Spanish moss that is. I love it. Okay, so it's gonna go way up there, just hanging. It will naturally grow here in the Philippines as long as it stays moist, which is not so much a problem now, uh, especially because it's rainy season, but it's more of an issue uh, during summer when it doesn't rain as often. We'll need to turn on the sprinklers every day so that this Spanish moss stays alive. Oh, I love it. Oh, so nice. Let's hope the parrots don't like destroy it. Oh, look at this driftwood. Awesome. They're gonna put it at the front just to cover these pots. Oh, what a dream. That is awesome. OMG guys, look at that. Yes, he's gonna hang some there. I love it. I love it. Yes. Sweet. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. They are now going to shear any dead leaves. Gonna also add fertilizer to all the plants. Wow, Ate June, this is, this is very, you've made it very simple for us. <laughs> so in case people want to avail of your landscaping services, where can they find you? And your company is called JMB. Juanito Medina Borja Gardens. Awesome. Also for my name, June M. Borja. All right, yeah, thank you. Wow, guys, look. They're hanging the Boston fern because from the second floor, this side looks kind of bare. When you guys are free here, please don't destroy. <laughs> I'm showing Ate June the parrots. So these here are the crimson belly conures. These ones are endemic to Philippines. Yeah, blue-naped parrots, they're called, but also born in captivity from a breeder, from a licensed breeder. Yeah, because they're actually near threatened. But now they're proliferating through the pet trade. So it's kind of a cool conservation effort having them. It's a stress reliever. It is a stress reliever. <laughs> awesome, guys. We got bromeliads, finally. It's for the, for the, oh. for the Gorgeous. Okay. Oh, beautiful neorogelia. It will be really red. Gorgeous. Sometimes. Yes, they have beautiful red flowers. Actually, RJ, our, our house, right? In Tagaytay. Yeah. Had these. They're so pretty. I love epiphytic bromeliads. So what he's doing now is he's wrapping the root with coconut husk. So epiphytic basically means that it can grow on wood, like without soil. And bromeliads, which are plants that belong to the pineapple family, can grow like this. You just need to kind of like wrap it in coconut husk or any kind of medium with good uh, ventilation and air and drainage and then um, you just kind of stuff it into little cracks and crevices and then the roots sort of like tendril out like octop octopus tentacles and like sort of cling onto the wood it's really neat we're showing at the june our bahai kubo pond because we want her to landscape that pond at the back 
Oh, come follow me at the June. Yeah, we do have a lot of ideas. Very rich. Imagination. Yeah, sky's the limit, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm taking Atejun now. And for you guys who don't, who haven't seen this area of the Mabuhay Squad Farm, the Bahai Kubo, which is the is traditional the bamboo hut. Okay, so this here is our bamboo hut, our Bahai Kubo, and over it is where we intended to have our pond. Fun. But right now it's so full of duckweed. We just haven't had time to develop it. See? No snakes here. I'm sure there are snakes. <laughs> but we wanna see there's a shelf at the back there. Yeah, yeah. We want we wanna grow like aquatic plants that come emerge. So I like water lotus, lilies, I want different lilies growing here. Oh, oh yeah. that would be great. It really needs... Uh, actually, it's kind of get, getting a life of its own. Yeah, I'm sure yeah, it has yeah. already like frogs and stuff that live here. Yeah, and then we plan on making kind of a water fountain here. I'm thinking about the pink and the white, the dark seven kinds already. Yeah, so there's a whole shelf that runs through the bottom all the way to the other side where we can plant yeah. like like a bank so, plants. Oh yeah, we can go crazy here. That would be awesome. And then this is in the works. We still need to build it. Bromeliads, a bromeliad driftwood piece. <gasps> Love it. Doesn't that look awesome? Oh man, that's gonna be great. And then these ones will have like a bright red like flower that comes out through the middle. Isn't that cool? I love how it adds this nice pop of red. See? So beautiful. Do you guys like the bromeliads? Hmm? What do you think? Yes? No? Maybe so? I bet you know what they're thinking. Can't wait to destroy that! <laughs> Please don't destroy the plants. I mean, I'll put lots of toys and other things for you to destroy. But if they do, they're just doing what parrots do. So, no sweat, we'll just replace them or not put those same plants in the same spot because clearly they want to destroy. Ate June has been going around the house. RJ's been showing her around. I'm so Are you coming to our housewarming? Yeah, I miss you, you invite me. Of course we will, of course. I will be, it's my honor to be here. Yeah, it, is, it will be our honor for you to be there too. Thank you. We really appreciate that. The kitchen, RJ, is her favorite. He's been working really hard on that kitchen for many years. For three years. First time to see a kitchen like that? Yeah, this kind. This kind with very, very detailed. Detailed, yeah. There's a lot of things there. More pressure for RJ to cook. <laughs> Speaking of housewarming, guys. So the current plan for a housewarming is we'll have a soft opening of the Mabuhay Squad Farmhouse. I say opening, but it's really a housewarming because this will not be a public facility. I don't even think our subdivision would allow the Mabuhay Squad Farm to be a public facility. Um, but we will have a soft housewarming uh, sometime this year and then a hard opening around February next year because I just learned today that a whole bunch of my family from Toronto will be here in the Philippines in February. So yeah, that's gonna be like the official housewarming, I think. Ooh. That is the final look. Yes! So good. And this uh, water feature is gonna go there. It still needs to dry because we found there was a leak so we just re it. But oh! Uh, Yes! So, so cool. What a difference. That just made it even more beautiful. <laughs> OMG guys, we are finally hanging up the signature Kenneth Kobonpoi chandelier piece. Yes! Guys, we had this planned since last year. I can't believe it's finally going up. Alright guys, they're gonna work on that. And the next time you watch these vlogs, that Kenneth Kobunpoi centerpiece chandelier will be installed. Ah, OMG Mabu High Squad, what a day, right? Man, super exciting. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Really means a lot to us that you're following us on this crazy journey of building the house, building that aviary, releasing the birds. It's just blowing my mind. And uh, before ending this vlog, 
wanted to show you guys today's positive affirmation. And it is, today I look for the good in my life and that is what I find. There you go guys. Hope you enjoyed today's positive affirmation. And so guys, if you enjoyed this vlog, please hit the like button as it lets YouTube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences. Really means a lot to me that you guys are supporting us. Cypher! The dogs find another dog. And guys, if you haven't yet, do hit that subscribe button. It really means a lot to us. Join our Mabu High Squad. We will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. I will see you guys in the next vlog. Let me know when you guys think I should release the birds. Love you. Bye. Mm -hmm.